Hello and welcome to the channel. If you've heard of Warren Buffett, then you probably know that he's one of the wealthiest people in the world. He's made a lot of excellent investments to get him there. But did you think it was all blue skies and rainbows? Of course not. He's made some incredible mistakes along the way. But there is one mistake that Buffett made in the 90s that continues to bother him today. And that's his investment in Dexter Shoe Company. Warren Buffett is a renowned investor and the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway. It's no secret Warren Buffett is known for his value investing approach, which involves looking for undervalued companies with strong potential for growth and holding onto those investments for the long term. But Dexter was a disaster. In this video, we're going to look at how this $433 million investment ended up costing Warren Buffett $11 billion today. One of the most interesting aspects of this investment is that Warren Buffett was already an experienced investor. Learning from other people's success is important, but sometimes the best lessons are learned from other people's mistakes. Remember that it's easier to lose money than it is to make it. Dexter Shoe Company. Maybe you've heard of them or are familiar with the company. I personally have never heard of them before now. Dexter Shoe Company was founded by Harold Alfond in the 1960s. The company operated a factory in Dexter, Maine in the United States. And the shoes were successful. They were very popular. By the 90s, the Dexter factory outlet chain had expanded to over 80 stores. Retail chains began to take notice of the success. Although these retail chains promised expansion, they would place a greater emphasis on foreign production. A very unwelcome departure from Dexter's family-run business model. Then comes along Warren Buffett. He said many things that appeased the management. But the one thing that grabbed their attention was his intention to not interfere with the family's business management. Therefore, he'd continue to have the shoes manufactured locally in the US. In 1993, a deal was propositioned and all parties agreed to the terms. Warren Buffett acquired Dexter, but instead of paying cash, he used Berkshire Class A stock. 25,203 Class A shares worth $433 million at the time. This was his greatest mistake, but we'll get into that later on. Later that same year, Buffett assured his investors in a letter to shareholders that Dexter was a sound investment, an investment that didn't require any remediation. Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett both agreed that it was without a doubt one of the best managed firms they had ever seen in their lives. He used words like Enterprise Jewel and Sound Resolution to pay for it with Berkshire Inventory. However, Buffett failed to anticipate the company's eventual demise and implosion, and that was competition from low-cost imported footwear from low-wage nations. Buffett considered the Dexter's moat to be of its brand value. Similar to his investment in Coca-Cola, where he famously said, if you gave me a hundred billion and said take away the soft drink leadership of Coca-Cola in the world, I'd give it back to you and say it can't be done. Warren Buffett thought the brand value was strong enough to justify consumers' willingness to pay a premium for American-made Dexter shoes over cheaper imported shoes from its competitors. This assumed moat faded fast when looking at the profits of Dexter shoes. Instead of the profits moving up another notch, they fell down down to 37 and a half million. Buffett put a brave face on it, pointing to the even worse performance of other US manufacturers. He said, quote, our shoe business operated in an industry that suffered depressed earnings throughout last year, and many of our competitors made only marginal profits or worse. That means we at least maintained, and in some instances widened our competitive superiority. This was in 1995, in 1996, Buffett anticipated a climb back to top grade earnings, as managers capitalized on opportunities created by the closing of loss-making competitors and reduced production and administration expenses. He asked Berkshire shareholders to view the 1995 results as a cyclical problem, just a bad year in a cycle of good and bad, and not as a secular one. In other words, this wasn't a long-term trend. But it wasn't to be. The trend was very much secular for Dexter after all. Profits fell to 32.2 million in 1997, 
an operating profit margin to 7.4% on revenues down by 18.9 million to 542 million. Dexter was now clearly identified by Buffett in the annual report as a problem area. Its sales were down by 12% in one year. But nevertheless, Dexter's management were repositioning its brand to be more competitive in a highly discounted, orientated retail environment. Shareholders of Berkshire were informed that Dexter's managers anticipated that a substantial portion of the loss volume would be recovered in 1998. After waiting another year, patient shareholders were shocked to discover shoe profits had declined yet again. They were now less than half of those of 1994. At 23 million from sales of only 500 million, the unfavorable results represent a continuation of a trend which began three years ago. Manufacturers such as Brown, Lau and Dexter were facing reduced demand for their products. Additionally, major retailers were offering promotions to generate sales, which was resulting in an ongoing margin squeeze. In spite of this, Buffett gave the benefit of the doubt to those in charge of these operations, stating that they were working to align production activities with the reduced sales volume. Hopefully the expertise at an operational level will result in profits rising to a satisfactory level. Despite their efforts, 1999 was a dreadful year. Profits halved again to 11 million on turnover, down another 2 million. That same year, Buffett addressed his shareholders. He said, quote, It has become extremely difficult for domestic producers to compete effectively. In 1999, approximately 93% of the 1.3 billion pairs of shoes purchased in this country came from abroad, where extremely low-cost labour is the rule. End quote. Therefore, the issue was strategic. Dexter lacked competitive advantage to contest overseas producers. Buffett responded by sourcing more shoes internationally, but he was unable to stem the bleeding and he finally accepted defeat. Buffett admitted in his 2000 letter that he made a mistake in paying what he did for Dexter. Quote, I compounded that mistake in a huge way by using Berkshire shares in payment. End quote. The remaining goodwill attributable to Dexter was written off in 2000, and more factories were closed, with others scheduled to close in 2001. That year, the company lost $46 million. There were not many options available to Buffett. He had no choice but to trust the management of the struggling shoe company. Despite the rebound in shoe profits to 24 million in 2002, Buffett's letter to shareholders in 2007 bemoaned his mistake once again. He said, quote, I gave away 1.6% of a wonderful business, one now valued at 220 billion, to buy a worthless business. To date, Dexter is the worst deal that I've ever made. End quote. This brings us to the mistake I mentioned earlier, and what I'm referring to is opportunity cost. This represents a taking of money or equity from a successful company, in this case Berkshire Hathaway, and spending it on a failing company. If Buffett had paid cash, it would have been a $433 million write-off but he spent 25,203 of Class A Berkshire shares, which today would have been worth a staggering $11 billion. Reflecting on his greatest errors in his 2014 letter, Buffett pointed to the shoemaker again, quote, The most gruesome was Dexter Shoe. When we purchased the company in 1993, it had a terrific record and in no way looked to me like a cigar butt. If you're not familiar with the cigar butt style of investing, think of a soggy cigar butt lying in the gutter. It might not offer the best smoke, but it is free. So that last puff is all profit. That's how Warren Buffett explains cigar butt style investing. A style he adopted under the influence of his early mentor, Benjamin Graham. This was Dexter Shoe Company. Buffett eked a few more years of profit before the company folded. Buffett continued to bash himself for his investment in Dexter. He said, quote, As a financial disaster, this one deserves a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records. 
Our once prosperous Dexter operation folded, putting 1,600 employees in a small main town out of work. Many were past the point in life at which they could not learn another trade. We lost our entire investment, which we could afford, but many workers lost a livelihood they could not replace. End quote. There is no one who can predict the future of a business, not even Warren Buffett. As he has said many times, he underestimated the economics of low-cost imports. The purchase of Dexter Shoes was a mistake, but the bigger mistake was a payment with Berkshire's stock. Today, that stock he issued to purchase Dexter is valued at $11 billion. If he had paid cash, it would have been a blip on the radar. Any other CEO or capital allocation expert would not share that information. But Warren does. And that's what makes him who he is.